John. Cowboy Mouth, this this particular axe, tell us the story about this. Um, the luthier is, is the man named Dwight Maddox. He uh, lives in Mississippi, Atlanta right now, but I met him in Mississippi and I had a pair of blue suede creepers. And I met Dwight at a, a festival. He had a blue suede Les Paul. And uh, he approached me with his book and we started talking. And he says, I can make you a blue suede. I said, I want a telly, because I don't have a telly in my arsenal. I said, I, I can make, he said, I can make them the same color and the same exact suede as that blue suede Jew. I said, nah, really? And uh, he, uh, he defied the odds, man. He built this guitar for me and I play it every night, you know. Uh, this is your main guitar. It's my, uh, I use it your for that. Your connected. Uh, no, I, I, well, I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say I play Les Paul. But this is my, uh, when I play this on particular songs for the telly, I guess the timber, the, the sound, and whatnot, uh, specifically, change of sound. I like to ask the guitar players if they get emotionally attached to their circuits. Uh, this one you would. Like relationships? Uh, my Les Pauls, yes. Your Les Pauls. And this one, particularly. If anything happened to this, I would you would die. I was being willed back to Dwight, so I died. <laughs> Obviously. You keep it in a sacred place? No. Don't you just leave it in its case? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a road dog, man. It's like, uh, yeah. It's, it's got to get beat up, man. You know, it's got to get scars, you know, and it's got to have uh, attitude and uh, some ups and downs, you know, Guitars triumphs and like you know, tragedy, you know. Tragedy and struggle. They grow right. old and wear like people. Yeah. But all the uh, the star yeah. and my initials glow in the dark in the lane. Uh, yeah, it's suede all the backside too. Back into the sides were all suede. Uh, Fender noiseless pickups. Do you ever have a performance where you you got angry either at your tech or something wasn't right and you almost tossed it? I've hit somebody with a guitar with the headstock in the chest, in the sternum. You know, they made me mad. Well, where did that happen? Seattle, Washington. Uh, he was stealing my set list and he kept doing it and I finally had to sit. He was two rows behind you. He was two behind these two ladies. And he kept reaching through and stealing my set list. Finally, I stopped on his hand the third time. I said, man, dude, you better chill out. He said, well, I'm going to give it to the ladies. I said, if they want a set list, they can ask for it, and I'll give it to them. So the next the three, four songs later, he just sat there like this. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just had enough. I just took my headstock and drilled it right into it as far as I could. And it was to chest. You don't strike me as an I angry snapped, man. Yeah, it's you know, a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. He's well, you know, I want to. You know, I so much want to go through uh, TSA security and right. go, uh, what's in the case? Weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> you know, I so want to do that. You know. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, that's a pretty nice guitar. You're right. Uh, well, they yeah. always think it's a gun. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm carrying a soft case. I carry it all the plane. But I, I used to carry it in a look like a gun. Awesome. That's it, John. Thank you so much, man. Thank you guys. Thank you. Great.